Fortnite is meant to be a fair game, but sometimes Epic Games accidentally add something that make it pay to win. We're taking a look at 11 times Fortnite messed up and accidentally added pay to win items to the game, like the Star Wand and ACDC pickaxe. If you haven't seen footage of this, it will blow your mind because back in Season X, Fortnite updated the game and these pickaxe accidentally became super powerful, dealing 56 damage when swinging at a player and you could even get a headshot that would deal 84 damage, meaning that the usual five hits to take a player down with a pickaxe was changed to two if you had this pickaxe enabled. A pickaxe literally dealing more damage than any other pickaxe in the game is the most pay-to-win thing ever, and eight hours later, Fortnite quickly updated the game again to return the damages to normal. But not everything gets fixed that quickly. In fact, this is still in the game. The Spider-Man neighborly hang emote literally spins your character up upside down and hangs you from the ceiling. If positioned correctly, you can hang in a way where enemies won't even see you in the room, and you can instantly cancel the emote by firing your weapon, dropping down from the sky above the enemies that can't even see you, meaning you can take them down easily. Not many people knew about this because it was a tier 100 unlock back in chapter 3, but if you did get this emote, it still works, hang from the ceilings, and you can get some easy kills. Now imagine that you can sprint infinitely, but other players can't. This comes to to a glitch that was only accessible to players that purchased Fortnite Save the World. In a similar fashion to the new first person glitch that's popped up recently where you could enable first person mode in Save the World and it would carry over to Battle Royale, which has unfortunately now been patched. Back in Chapter 3, Season 4, if you went into Save the World and equipped a ninja hero skin and then logged back into Battle Royale, it would give you an unlimited supply of stamina. It was such an easy glitch to pull off, but you had to pay for Save the World for it to work. But what's even more game-breaking than unlimited sprint is going invisible. Back in Chapter 3 Season 4, the Chrome caused loads of bugs, and if you had the Mystique skin unlocked, if you jumped into a game and took down a male player and then transformed into them, and then went ahead and turned yourself into a Chrome blob, you just have to wait for the effects to run out, and when you turn back again, your skin would be completely invisible. The crazy thing is, this invisibility glitch would last the entire game, even if you got damaged or hit it, you'd still be invisible. You'd be running around the map and the only things enemies would see is your weapon being carried by an invisible person or your minis floating in the air. But the weird thing is you'd only appear invisible to players on console. Players on PC could see you as normal, meaning console players were a massive disadvantage. Now a backbling that could only be gotten in chapter one had some incredible powers. Called the backtracker, you may have heard of this one as a backbling that displays the storm circle on the map in real time. Fun fact, if you use it right now, it doesn't actually show the Chapter 4 map. They still need to update that. But that didn't matter back in Chapter 1, Season 7, where an LTM was added called Bare Bones. In this mode, it removed a load of a heads-up display, including the map, meaning you'd never know where the storm was on the island. This LTM returned after the release of the Backtracker Backbling, and players realized if they partnered these two things together, you could use your Backbling to still know where the storm was, even though it wasn't showing on your screen. The crazy thing is, this LTM has never returned since, and unlocking the back bling, you had to buy the battle pass and collect 65 fort bites, which not many people did, making this back bling extremely rare. Back in Chapter 3, Season 3, players that subscribed to the Fortnite crew pack could break the imposters mode so they could never lose. During a meeting in the imposters mode, you normally have your character standing still, unable to move, and you look in the direction of the person that you want to vote off. However, if you're playing during the meeting and brought up your menu and then click the Fortnite crew tab, as soon as the meeting began, it would break your movement and allow you to move around the room during the voting phase. Since players had to look at you to cast a vote on your character to be kicked off, you could just run around the room and go and hide in the corner and no one would ever be able to kick you. I told you guys that the Chrome caused a lot of issues back in Chapter 3 Season 4 and there's even more where if you had the Siren outfit and chose the Nor style, it became Game pay to win. If someone threw a chrome splash on your skin when using this style, it would turn you completely black like a silhouette and near invisible if you're hiding in shadows. Now this glitch wouldn't last until the end of the game. It would only last for as long as the chrome splash was on your skin. But weirdly, Epic Games removed this skin from competitive playlists 
so you couldn't abuse it and hide in the shadows. But in normal games, they never decided to patch it. So you could just blend into the shadows whenever you wanted. When Deadpool was unlockable as a secret skin, he came along with a glider in the item shop. And this glider was used by all competitive players for one big reason. When using this glider, it had a unique animation. As you clambered on top of your llama flying dragon, your character would actually move so much that you were almost impossible to hit whilst you were deploying your dragon in the sky. Pro players quickly realized this, and with launch pads being really common and then rotating all the time in the end game of Fortnite, you would just see this glider spanned in the sky and it was impossible to hit people. Epic decided it wasn't that big of a deal as it took them 30 days to patch this, so the animation was changed. Is your character now stand still as the glider wraps around you, meaning it's not quite as cool as it was. It's crazy to think that Fortnite didn't have a way of rebooting your teammates initially, but reboot fans came along back in 2019. And fun fact, before they were released, they were actually going to have a hologram of a default player above the van. That didn't end up happening, and when they came to the game, obviously they got their little hologram reboot icon, but this as a result gave players the idea to take a really blue skin, just like the Frozen Love Ranger skin, and stand inside the reboot hologram so players wouldn't know you were there. People like Laser Bean got up to his usual memes and applied this in-game super effectively, essentially making the Frozen Love Ranger skin pay to win. It was so good at hiding. As a result, when Chapter 3 came around, Fortnite had to change the design of these vans so it was hard to get on top of just because of how popular this strat was. Back in Chapter 3, Season 3, the Dragon Rune Lance, which looked awesome by the way, was pay to win. And it was really easy to abuse. Simply pulling out this pickaxe would make your footsteps sound completely muted and also covered up even if you have visual audio enabled. Using this pickaxe, you could sneak up and run towards enemies without them having any idea that you were there unless they were literally looking at you, making this pickaxe so overpowered, but it was only available to buy in a Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass and has since been patched, so you can't use it now. And in all of the history of the most pay-to-win things, these skins have to be the most. They're still used to this day, not quite as effectively, by pro players because of how good they are. The first one is the Toy Soldier outfits, both a green and orange option, but the green option was completely green. And back when it was released in Chapter 1, it blended in so well with the color of the grass that they had to completely change its design so that it wasn't so overpowered. And of course, the Boundless Superhero skins are to this day still used by so many players. Initially, you could turn all the colors to be exactly the same. Players would turn it to be a completely black skin and you could hide in the shadows as much as you want. Console players cannot turn shadows off, meaning that if you were hiding with this skin, console players couldn't see you at all. Epic had to disable these skins and change the color options that you were allowed to use and even offer people refund that bought the skin if they wanted to get their money back. But did you know a ton of popular Fortnite streamers have been banned in Fortnite? If you want to see who they are and how they got banned, click on screen here before I disappear. I hope you enjoyed this video, so I'll see you on this one. I'm about to disappear, so I'll see you on this video. Thank you for watching.